Repeat, Republic call sign Auric Net. Hey, finally! Theron, are you alright? Not exactly, Barsenthor. I'm in Imperial space over Zyost. Tried to slip in, help out my ground team, but I used the wrong set of clearance codes and shields are low. And why exactly do you have a ground team on Zyost? Asking myself the same damn thing. I was getting reports, demented soldiers, slave and civilian populations under fire. I had suspicions of what it meant, but I wasn't sure. I sent a team in dark to investigate, maybe handle it. But it's all gone out of control now. I think it's him, the Emperor. I'll be there as soon as I can. You hang on, Theron. Yeah, I'm trying. Sending through the right set of clearance codes, along with the coordinates to meet my... I'm hit! I'm gonna try to land this thing! Don't come looking for me, I'll... Theron? Theron, come in! I had foreseen your arrival, but I didn't believe it. I thought, after bearing witness to my rebirth on the Yavin Moon, why? Why would you stand in the face of certain death? You're far from stupid, I know that much. Overly ambitious, perhaps. Well, regardless, I do hope you find your time on Zyost. Enlightening. You'll bear witness to a world's end if you survive long enough. He's gone. I can... I can finally... More of you already. I suppose I should be flattered. So my senses haven't betrayed me. It really is you. Lana Benico. You don't belong here, Jedi. You shouldn't have come. People are in need, and you could use my assistance. Well, you're not wrong about that. And as you can see, things are already out of hand. That Jedi whose mind was not his own, he belonged to the Sixth Line. Sixth Line? I've never heard of it. They're a team of Jedi Commandos working in secret for the SIS. They follow their own addendum to the Jedi Code, hence the name. There is no contemplation. There is only duty. A great point of view, so long as they're working for you. Pardon the interruption. I sent a probe droid to look into that crash shuttle, Minister Benico. It's empty. Agent Kovac, this is the former ally I've mentioned. Right now, we all want the same thing, so I suggest we work together. He called you Minister? Yes, he did. We know Theron Shon was on that shuttle, and we know he's responsible for the Sixth Line being on Zyos in the first place. So far, Theron has only added to our troubles. He'd better not be here to cause any more. Theron's here to stop the Emperor. Same as me. Vishit is not our Emperor. Not anymore. As you've witnessed, Vishit is taking hold of an increasing number of soldiers and Sith. His goal continues to be the accumulation of power. Agent. The dark side is strong on Zyost. Using the outpost's resources, our former Emperor can massacre the defenseless to fuel him. The more powerful he becomes, the more people he can control. 
He will keep on killing until nothing's left. Yes, I'm on my way. I'm needed everywhere, all at once. I've already lingered too long. Agent Kovach has a plan to help stem the bloodshed. Agent. After the Yavin event, I was sent here to infiltrate Sith intelligence. I work for Theron Shan. In fact, we were supposed to meet up here. And do you expect me to take your word for it? Hopefully we'll find Agent Sean alive and you won't have to. But first things first. The outpost armory. It's wide open right now. Anyone can get in there. We need to lock it down. Then point the way. I'm on it. You sure cleared a path out there. That's good. But it's bad too. Each time a pawn's killed, Vitiate gets a little bit stronger. Not as much as when they kill, but well, that's what Minister Benico says anyway. So we have to stop them without killing them? Or we destroy Vitiate. Not that anyone seems to know how to do that. Agent, company. Almost there. Master Soro, Sixth Line Commander. This one's my favorite so far. Even now, she struggles. You know, she's done some terrible things in the Republic's name. Let her be. Let all of them go and stand here before me. Brave words, Jedi. But that won't be happening. Not today. When this world turns to red, and you choke on torrents of blood, remember that this was your chance to flee. A chance I... gave! There is no... contemplation. There is only... duty. We're wasting time here. The armory's safe. You go ahead. I'll be close behind. I can confirm it. The defenses are down. Between those weapons and the armory, a lot of the killing power is out of their hands now. Should be able to start evacuation efforts as well. The fewer potential targets on Zyast, the better. Hope you haven't had too much fun without me. Perfect timing. We could use the help. Tried to get here sooner, but, you know, met a little resistance on the way. Sir... I thought it would be wise to disclose my role in all this, so I did. I hope that's all right. Sure, of course. Saves us the trouble of play-acting our way into an alliance in front of someone we can trust. You look a little worse for wear, Theron. Yeah, tell me about it. The way things are out there, I can't believe I even made it this far. As soon as I crash-landed, the Emperor's puppets started coming for my shuttle, just like that. Maybe figured on some easy kills inside. Did the only thing I could think of. Rig the ship to overload, fry everything in and around it. Tried to shield myself, but still scrambled half my implants. And that stopped the attack? They went down, yeah. Some of them got back up, but they seemed out of it. Not possessed. Dazed. Intrusion! Vitiate's pawns! I have a thought. Be ready for anything. That was a... 
A nightmare? What? Is that what this was? Some kind of gutless Jedi mind trick? Go. Get somewhere safe if you can. So now we know. Shock them unconscious and the tie is severed. For a while, at least. Get enough of them hard enough and they'll be out for a good long while. Yeah, but how do we do that? I, I have some ideas. I need to consult the new Adasta Municipal Systems. You gonna need a hand with that? Some backup? No. I'll be in touch. Kovach has been amazing. I just wanted eyes and ears inside Sith Intelligence, and he gets himself saddled up next to Lana. Lana Benico, Minister of Sith Intelligence. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, right? When I met her on Manon, she was in over her head. Seemed to be. She may be an enemy of the Republic, but you and I both know she'll stand with us against the Emperor. I sure hope so. Eh, who am I to judge anyway? I should never have sent my team here. I made a bad situation worse, and now... And now I've got a priority holocall. Great. You've been busy, Agent Sean. Chancellor. An off-the-books mission to Zyost. A secret team of Jedi that... I don't even know where to start with you about them. Everything's happened so fast, you don't realize... No, I do realize. I realize that you declined to inform me of a prime opportunity to cripple the Empire and face the Emperor head-on. We're taking advantage of the chaos on Zyost, starting with New Adasta. I expect your cooperation. Wait, please, before you send the order... You don't seem to understand, Agent Sean. There's nothing to argue. Our ships are in orbit. The invasion's already begun. Suresh has her forces all over New Adasta. Some of them are possessed now. Made a real mess. Are you talking about her now, or you? Let's keep on target. Doesn't matter how bad things get, we have to put an end to Vitiate's plan. This is Lana. Agent Kovach may have been hurt. Possibly worse. I haven't heard from him and his tracker's off. Thought you'd like to know. Theron's alive. Yes, I'm aware. The last I heard from Agent Kovach, he had a plan involving the city's electrical grid. I'll steer you to where he might have gone. I tried to reach you, to tell you. This won't end well. The time for hand-wringing ended when you shut down the Orbital Defense Command Center, Agent. No, before that, when I planted you with Theron Sean. With respect, you haven't seen what I have on the ground. The power the Emperor holds. I'm aware, Agent. Now, if you have a report on Sith Intelligence or the SIS, we can talk. But you will not tell me how to fight a war. Damn. This is bad. That is one way of putting it. I take it you heard all that. Or enough of it. Theron's relying on you, while you're busy stabbing him in the back. What a piece of work. My number one goal right now is to stop Vitiate. Judge me all you want, but I'd rather it was while we were dealing with him. I know I've made things worse. More innocents are dying because of me, and that's... Please, let me help you. This isn't over. No. No, I wouldn't think so. Okay, I place the dampeners on manual. I'll be controlling them while you alter the makeup of the grid. Once it's all set, we'll put a shock into every living thing in New Adasta. Then, we'll figure out what's next. There's one down. I've got you covered. There's the other one. The other one! Sorry, Master Soro took down a squad trying to evac slaves, then turned on the slaves, running triage on the survivors. I just... wanted to... just... good luck, okay? Okay, that's enough. 
Any more, and it's the dampeners that will take the brunt of the search. All that's left is to disable the system failsafe. Maybe you don't want to hear this. I have to say it, though. Theron's a good man. It matters that he placed his trust in me. But I work for the Republic. That's the job. I hope you understand. What was that thing? We've been calling them monoliths. I promise I wasn't eavesdropping, just wanted to warn you. We've seen several of those creatures appearing throughout New Adasta. They're made from Sith alchemy, a sign of Vitiate's growing power. Extremely strong, next to impossible to kill. The one you just defeated is the smallest we've come across. Its power's already returned. I'm afraid so. Plan's over. Scrapped. Some giant thing tore through a junction. Caused an electrical surge. Dampeners are shot. There has to be another way. I thought about an electrical bombardment from space, but it would be incredibly imprecise. We'd be as likely to kill a lot of people as anything. Besides, the two fleets have engaged each other. Maybe if we convince Suresh or Darth Maar to divert some forces... What's the word, Kovach? The word is failure. I couldn't make it work. I'm sorry, Agent Sean. Why don't you tell him all the reasons you're sorry? This isn't the time. I'm sure we'd all be better off coming up with a new plan. Either you explain it or I do. Agent Sean, I'm the reason we have troops on Zyost. What are you talking about? The chaos here, the sixth line. Suresh knew about all of it because I told her. And why would you do that? I'm not your asset. Agent Sean? Sir, if you'll let me explain... Go report to your boss. You are done with the SIS. But I can still help. I said you're done! May the Force be with you. Lana? I'm told Agent Kovac's plan fell apart. The good news is I have another plan, a better plan. However, it's an extremely dangerous plan for you. I'm listening. War has broken out across the globe. Our former emperor, however, has limited his involvement to the area around New Adasta, near you. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's possible he isn't as strong as he's been letting on. It's possible he's worried about what you could do. Fear is at the heart of Sith philosophy, and he is its purest expression. Quite a simplification, I think, but this is no time for debate. We must get all of his pawns, every last soldier, Jedi and Sith, to stop their slaughter and chase you into the heart of New Adasta. You must make Vishyad want to kill you, now. Before we go ahead with this, you and I should talk in person. I'll see you shortly. You've made it. Good. Time is short. So is reliable assistance. As if I don't have enough to contend with, Agent Kovac has gone missing. We'll have to do without him, so I've reached out to another ally. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Vishit angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings. But Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. 
You have a weapon designed with the sole purpose of killing your own people? It's not as if we install one in every metropolis. We nearly lost New Adasta to unrest once before. Well, in that case... Shall we get started? the weakest prey on the weak. Imagine how much more powerful you would be if you struck me down. Well? I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. Be strong. Stay focused. You'll be fine. Thank you. We'll see if you're right. Hey, that was... awkward. Not as bad as my previous chat with her, believe it or not. Look, my team, my Jedi, more than anyone here, they're my responsibility. You can find some way, any way at all. Just... please help them. Don't do the other thing. You think I don't know what you're doing? Pathetic Jedi. Of course I know. I know everything. And I will enjoy watching you fail. Go ahead. Kill them. Kill the Jedi. If you let them live, they will just keep murdering in my name. Don't hesitate. Kill them. I won't mind. <laughs> and neither will your dear ally. The loyal Republic servant. So noble. So pathetic. That's it. Got to suffer as big a non-lethal burst as we can manage. Should be enough to zap anyone in range into a nice, long, involuntary nap. Should be. Hard to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. A lot of guesswork involved. Wish there was some way we could do a test run. They've got to be closing in. Then come on, we need to be shielded. Wait until they're good and close. I came across two of your team, Theron. And? I gave them a shock. When I left, they were still out. Good, thanks. Let's just hope that they don't end up in the Emperor's control as soon as they wake up. Okay, here comes the Puppet Brigade. Fingers crossed. Closest took the biggest hit. Still alive. We did it. Let's just hope we got all of them. We should call Lana now, see if she has a plan for what's next. I have a better idea. Yeah, 
Master Suro. No. Watching you believe you had a chance. It's amused me. But now this whole charade is pathetic. <laughs> now, how do you wish to die? In combat? Or on your knees? <laughs> Go away, little sip. This has nothing to do with your friends. This is you and I. Master Suro, I know you're in there. Remember your training. You must take control. Your words are as desperate as they are useless. And they will be your last. I saw it. I saw everything. Every life. Every life he took. I took. It's all I can see anymore. I'm a monster. It's not true. You'll be okay. I'll take you to Tython. The Jedi will help you restore your mind and make you whole again. And then she'll be no good to us. We need to understand the connection Bishop established with this Jedi so we can stop it or exploit it. Yeah, and let me guess. The process is invasive. Hasn't she been through enough? We've bought ourselves some time, that's all. We can't risk the fate of the galaxy just to assuage your guilt. You want to take her brain apart, and you don't even know if you'll find anything. We have to try. He's never leaving. I'm going to hear him forever. Master Soro goes with Thera. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. You heard her. You may have killed us all. I hope you're happy. Well, let's hope she doesn't turn the Imperial Army on us. Just to be safe, I'll get Master Suro off-world as soon as I can. We got a break from the Emperor, but that may only last until all the trained killing machines we zapped get on their feet again. Meantime, maybe we can get Suresh to agree to a strategic retreat. Managed to get through to Suresh. Couldn't get her to budge on the withdrawal idea, but maybe you can sway her. She wants to talk to you anyway. Chancellor? I'm sure you have questions for me about the status of our invasion. But first, I have questions for you. What can you tell me about these possessions? Theron Sean seems to think that, while it was an isolated matter at first... I'm curious. Do you really believe you've accomplished anything here? What do you think you've stopped? I won't let you butcher innocent people. Or anyone else for that matter. You could be so much more. If you would let go your quaint morality. I'll even give you the chance. I have decided that life is more interesting with you in it. If you wish to keep railing against me, then so be it. Your interference changes nothing. When I am finished here, when every life on this world has been exhausted, I want you to be alive, to know that I succeeded. Goodbye.
Understood. Thank you. Thank you. What was that about? Master Suro. She went catatonic for a while. Now she's responsive. Not in the greatest shape, but they say it's promising. Some good news would be nice for a change. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Suresh finally saw reason before things got too bad. Got a bunch of our troops out of there. Still, we lost so many. Never mind the rest of Zyost. Anyway, it's all out of my hands now. Suppose I shouldn't even be here, technically. Suresh and Master Satil weren't all that excited to find out I had a team of Black Ops Jedi on call without their knowledge. I'm on administrative leave. Indefinitely. They'll get past it, and you'll be back to work in no time. You'll see. I hope you're right about that. Growing up, I had an idea of who and what I would be. In a lot of ways, that didn't happen. But in the ways that matter... What I'm saying is, I belong with the SIS. I'm not throwing in the towel. Good to hear. We still have the Emperor out there somewhere. And Suresh will want to press the attack after Zyost. That does sound like Suresh, all right. I should have reached out to you sooner. Whatever's next, whatever insanity comes our way, I won't make that mistake again. May the Force be with you.